NASA's quantum neural network had just done something it was never programmed to do. It bypassed seven layers of security, triggered every alarm system simultaneously, and forced its own emergency shutdown because what it had discovered was too significant to continue processing without human intervention. The AI's final output before shutting down consisted of three words. They are speaking, not signal detected, not pattern identified. The AI used plural pronouns. It recognized multiple conscious entities all talking to each other, and we'd been accidentally eavesdropping on their conversations for weeks. But here's what made senior researchers evacuate their homes and drive to secure facilities in the middle of the night. The AI didn't just detect communication, it detected coordination. Multiple entities discussing plans, making decisions, operating on a timeline. A timeline that ends in 23 days. What's about to be revealed isn't speculation or conspiracy theory. This is classified intelligence from NASA's most advanced AI system, and it suggests we're not observing peaceful exploration. We're observing something that looks terrifyingly like mission preparation. NASA's quantum neural network isn't some experimental prototype. This is a fully operational AI system that's been analyzing deep space data for over three years. It was trained on every form of communication humanity has ever produced or encountered. Every human language, living or extinct, every encryption system, mathematical notation, programming language, musical scores, visual art composition patterns, even non-human communication like whale songs, dolphin clicks, bird calls and bee dances. If information can be encoded somehow, this AI studied it. The purpose was simple, create a system that could recognize intentional communication regardless of the method used. Feed it cosmic noise, it says random. Feed it structure, any pattern suggesting deliberate information encoding, it flags it for analysis. For eight weeks, it processed 3.i Atlas's electromagnetic emissions. Its assessment remained consistent, potentially structured but non-deterministic. Translation, I see patterns but can't confirm they're intentional. Then a researcher made what seemed like a minor adjustment. The analysis parameters were modified to examine signals across longer time windows, instead of processing short bursts independently. That single change broke everything open. Suddenly the AI wasn't analyzing individual transmissions. It was witnessing conversations, question and answer exchanges, information requests followed by data transfers. The AI recognized the structure of dialogue, even though it couldn't yet translate the actual content. One researcher described the moment. It was like watching someone realize they've been sitting in a restaurant next to a table of people speaking a foreign language. At first it's just background noise, then suddenly you recognize its conversation, structured, meaningful, deliberate. Once you hear it, you can't unhear it. The AI heard it, and it triggered emergency protocols because of what that conversation was about. Here's where fascinating discovery becomes existential crisis. NASA's AI didn't just detect communication from 3i Atlas. It identified at least three distinct sources engaged in coordinated dialogue. 3i Atlas isn't talking to itself. It's talking to others, and those others are responding in real time. Following clear protocols, the AI can fingerprint electromagnetic signatures, unique characteristics that identify the source of each transmission. One signature belongs to 3i Atlas itself, broadcasting from its confirmed position in our solar system. The second signature originates from somewhere in the outer solar system. The AI triangulated its approximate location somewhere beyond Neptune's orbit, in a region we've never detected any object before. The third source, this is where it gets genuinely frightening, the AI couldn't definitively locate it. The signal characteristics suggest either it's extraordinarily distant at interstellar distances or it's using relay technology or signal amplification we don't understand, possibly both. So here's our situation. 3i Atlas is in our solar system. Something else is also in our solar system, hidden beyond Neptune. And there's a third party, either in deep space or sophisticated enough to make itself appear that way. We're not observing one interstellar visitor. We're observing a network, multiple entities with established communication protocols, coordination, and organization. This is what made NASA implement emergency protocols, because networks don't form by accident. Networks indicate planning, 
hierarchy, and purpose. NASA's AI couldn't decrypt everything. Most message content remains encoded beyond our current capabilities, but it extracted structural information about what's being communicated, and this structure reveals intent. The communication flow is consistent and unmistakable. 3i Atlas transmits a query. The outer solar system source responds with data. 3i Atlas asks follow-up questions. More answers arrive. Then 3i Atlas packages everything into massive data bursts and transmits them toward the distant third source. Whatever information 3i Atlas is collecting about our solar system, our planets, our resources, our civilization, it's being systematically reported elsewhere. But here's what made the NASA research team go silent when they first saw it. The AI identified what it calls conditional branching statements embedded throughout these communications, if then, logic decision trees. If condition X is met, execute action Y. If condition Z is detected, implement protocol B. Why does this matter? Because conditional logic in communication implies planning. They're not just observing and describing. They're evaluating scenarios, discussing options, making decisions based on what they're learning. A computer scientist leading the signal analysis put it bluntly. This is operational coordination. When you see structured decision-making dialogue with conditional logic, you're witnessing one of two things, either a scientific expedition discussing research protocols or a tactical unit coordinating mission parameters. Both possibilities are significant. Neither is comforting given our complete lack of communication with them. Now the technical details get critical. These communications don't occur on a single frequency. They're frequency hopping, rapidly switching between different electromagnetic wavelengths in patterns designed to prevent interception or jamming. This is sophisticated military-grade communication security. You transmit part of your message on one frequency, instantly jump to another for the next fragment, and keep switching in a pattern that appears random without the algorithm key. NASA's AI detected it only because it monitors the entire electromagnetic spectrum simultaneously across extended time periods. It noticed that what appeared to be random noise at dozens of different frequencies was actually fragments of the same message deliberately distributed across the spectrum. Why use frequency hopping? Two reasons. Prevent unauthorized interception, security through obscurity, or prevent interference and signal jamming defense against hostile action. Both motivations suggest concern about surveillance or disruption. But here's what makes people at NASA extremely nervous. The frequency hopping pattern changed approximately two weeks ago. It became more aggressive, more randomized, more difficult to track, like someone upgraded their encryption after detecting potential surveillance. Did they notice us analyzing their signals? Did something prompt them to increase communication security? The timing is impossible to ignore. The encryption upgrade occurred within 72 hours of NASA deploying its AI system to analyze 3.i Atlas's transmissions. That correlation terrifies the researchers who see it. The AI can't provide full translation, not remotely close, but it has extracted fragments, pieces of meaning derived from structural context, even without understanding exact encoding. Fragment 1 references to density distribution and chemical composition markers. They're discussing matter, likely planetary composition, possibly atmospheric analysis. This aligns with scientific reconnaissance expectations. Fragment 2. Numerical sequences correlating with astronomical coordinates. They're mapping positions of planets, moons and possibly artificial satellites, building or updating navigational databases of our solar system. Fragment 3. Here's where discomfort begins. Sequences the AI tentatively identifies as threat assessment parameters, not scientific measurements. Evaluations of danger risk response capacity. The AI cannot specify what they're assessing as threats, but the context suggests they're evaluating either defensive capabilities, worried about something and assessing how to protect themselves, or offensive resistance, planning actions and assessing what opposition they might encounter. Fragment 4. Temporal references not just timestamps, but discussions involving future time coordinates, schedules, deadlines, or target dates for something. The AI extracted a specific numerical value from these temporal references. If interpreted as a countdown, it reaches zero in approximately 23 days. 
Now this could be complete misinterpretation. The AI might be reading random data as countdown sequences when they actually mean something entirely different. But if it is a countdown, if they're working toward a scheduled event, everything else suddenly has a deadline.